What's up everyone, gonna do a full day of eating video. So it is 7.30 in the morning right now, I'm about to go and have my first meal of the day, it's gonna be breakfast. And let me just quickly tell you something. Um, I'm not counting macros exactly right now for, you know, two reasons kind of. A, um, I don't have a battery for my weight scale, so I can't weigh things out. Things like oatmeal and just all that stuff, I just can't weigh it out. So as soon I ordered one, and as soon as I get that in like two days, I'm gonna start tracking macros and be more precise. And then, um, and then B, just it's it's really hard to track right now um, to get to get the exact amount of calories and exact amount of macros. But that's really no excuse to not really try and count macros and count cal. Well, I'll, I'm gonna be counting calories. How about that? <laughs> all right. So full day of counting calories. I'm gonna show you guys how to eat. Um, for your goals without tracking macros, just counting calories, I guess, because you still need to know how many calories you're consuming to attain your goals. So, yeah, gonna go ahead and have breakfast. I'll show you that in a minute. So, we got breakfast over here. We have a big egg white omelet. I'd probably say there's like six egg whites, and I have some peppers, mushrooms, and tomatoes in there. So, I usually tend to get egg white omelets in the morning just because I want to save some fats. It's already early in the day. I don't want like a bunch of fats to kill in the morning. So it is, you have to, even though there's an egg white omelet, you guys have to realize it still has probably like 15 grams of fat because they use a good amount of oil. As you can tell over there, it's kind of, it looks kind of greasy. So that's probably around like 8 grams of fat. And then I'm an idiot and I forgot to tell the guy not to put cheese on it and the, the people just use, who cook these up usually assume you want cheese because everybody says cheese and if you don't tell them you don't want cheese they'll put cheese so that's probably that probably added another eight grams of fat so I'd say it's around 15 grams of fat and then I got my water and coffee you guys are gonna see a lot of coffee but this is like a cup and a half of coffee got a lot to do today can't take a nap after my classes so I'm gonna have to drink this up and grind through the day I'll see you guys for meal number two. Yeah. Don't you have the app? No. Mm -mm. That's what I gotta get. What's up guys, I don't know why my camera did not record the sound for this, it's being really weird, but this is my pre-workout meal, it's around 10.30 in the morning on this clip, and what I had was two and a half servings of oatmeal, around 100 grams, couldn't weigh it out because I don't have scale, but I'd say around 100 grams with one scoop of whey protein. So yeah, that omelet in the morning at 7 was not going to hold me out for my workout, and I needed to get some more food in me, so that is meal number two. So I just got back from the gym and it was such a good workout. I'm so happy. My strength is definitely going up big time. It's just after that first week, I thought it was going to be really slow just because I was so weak. But just the second week of working out, everything is just skyrocketing, going up really quick. So I'm so happy about that. And everything in the gym is just feeling good. The pump's feeling good and contractions are feeling awesome. So about to have my third meal. It is around, I think, 2 o'clock right now, 1.30 p.m., yeah, 1.30 p.m. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys what my meal is going to be. So I went ahead and picked up two of these. It's essentially the same thing. Um, the Chinese, I think you guys have seen this in previous videos. So it's just ch the Chinese stir fry. I got broccoli, kale, onions, and mushrooms in there. Grilled chicken. And I also have brown rice on the bottom. So I got one for now, and then I got another one for later, just because I don't feel like walking later for like a meal, say later at night around like 8 or 9, so I'm just going to have one of these around then. So nothing too special, just two meals to get the job done, and pretty well balanced meal if you ask me. Honestly, in my opinion, the macros on these, well the calories, overall, overall calories are probably around like, I'd say five to 600 on each one of these. Yeah, I'd say five to six hundred, maybe around like fifteen grams of fat, sixty grams of carbs, and like forty grams of protein or so. So, gonna go ahead and eat one of these. 
because I'm starving. <laughs> I haven't had any meal since that oatmeal around like 10.30. So catch you guys for meal number four. Peace. Let me give you all a quick tip. So if you are at a university and living in a dorm, say you're a freshman or you're just living in a dorm, um, and you want to track your macros precisely, say you're trying to cut or you're just trying to be more accurate with it, go ahead and buy a lot of um, cheap canned foods, guys. Get like beans, uh, canned vegetables, and you can get these like bagged rices right over here. They're very cheap. It takes like 10 minutes, but if you want to put in the extra dollar, you can get the minute ready rice, which is very, very convenient. More convenient than that, but you can just make a quick meal, you know, mix all that up and actually some canned tuna. But I'll usually have like right over here. Just make sure you don't microwave the tuna though, guys. It's going to make your dorm smell disgusting. Trust me. I know from experience. So don't microwave it. Just let it get hot with the other microwaved items. And yeah, just mix it all up. Add some like hot sauce, some salsa, and makes a really good tasty meal. I know it doesn't look appetizing at all. It actually looks really gross. But before I mix it all in, it looked amazing. But it's going to taste great either way. Just a quick tip for all you college students out there. What up guys, around 8.30 p.m., about to have a quick snack, been running around doing a lot of stuff, got a haircut, looking pretty fresh, right? Yeah, it's pretty fresh, but I <laughs> have um, a quick snack right now, just a packet of this oatmeal, um, this gluten-free brown, maple brown sugar oatmeal, it's pretty good. I have a lot of these in my dorm, and for some reason I have a lot of the regular oatmeal with like whey protein, but I never have these by themselves, so I'm just trying to finish these off. And I need more carbs, so I'm about to have a packet of this, which is 30, 32 grams of carbs, and an apple. Around this is a small apple, I'd say around like 12 grams of carbs, very small apple. So going to have these two while I finish up some homework and edit a new video. Gonna have just one more meal after this. That one meal I showed you guys that I got two of, remember the, the Chinese food? That's going to be my last meal of the day, which will finish off pretty much my macros or calories for the whole day. And that'll be around like, in, a, in, a, in like two hours when I get a little hungry again around 10.30, so I'll be sure to show you guys. What's up guys, so it's 11.03 p.m. right now and I just got my last meal of the day out of the microwave. Just the Chinese food that I showed you guys earlier today, the second meal I got. Same thing as the first one, just some broccoli, kale, mushrooms and onions, and then the grilled chicken and brown rice. Looks amazing. About to eat this up and then go to bed. I'm real tired, had a lot to do today. But let me go ahead and show you guys the macros for today. So I told you guys in the beginning of the video I wasn't going to count macros, I was only going to count calories, but I said, you know what, why not? Just try to estimate the macros, see what I can guesstimate it out to be, because I haven't counted count macros in so long, guys, so i got to get back into the swing of things. So. Here it is, it says 2,700 calories, um, and then all the estimated stuff, you know, in the morning, that omelet, and then the oatmeal, and then that Chinese meal, and then the fourth meal, fifth meal, and then the last meal right there. So, the totals came out to be, hold on real quick, 61 grams of fat, 344 grams of carb, and 191 grams of protein totaling to almost 2,700 calories. So, is that 100% correct? Most definitely not, but you know what? It's gonna be in the range, you know, it's gonna be in a ballpark, and the fact that I'm trying to account and having a goal, and just accounting for calories, and yeah, just, just trying to get to my goal, whether it be on a surplus or a deficit, then, you know, I'm, I'm golden. But once I get that scale, the battery for my scale, I'm gonna be a lot more precise with things. And I'm not too sure, to be honest, what I wanna do yet, Within a ne the next week, I'm going to decide. I don't know if I want to go on a little mini cut, then lean bulk for a while, or just continue on a lean bulk. Right now, I'm kind of just maintaining anywhere from 2,700 calories to 3,000 calories. So, now, I want to just real quick touch on a topic. I do follow flexible dieting, and as you guys can see, I count my calories, I count my macros, I fit things that I enjoy into what I want to eat every single day. And this... As you can see, this is a typical day of eating for me, you know, all the foods you see, that's what I eat really every day. And, you know, a lot of people will eat a bunch of sweets and they're going to crave sweets and that is no problem at all. And it is totally okay to do that, guys. That's the whole purpose of flexible dieting, counting your macros. You want to fit in a donut, some cake, you know, some candy, then do it. But 
that's that's great. That's that's a great thing about this. But for me, I guys, I've been a type one diabetic for 15 years. I don't really have these things just because I don't really want to. I always stay away from sugar because it does spike up your blood sugar. Obviously, you can take insulin and stuff for it, but it's not worth it. It's just real risky to pl play around with that because you know donuts and all that stuff has way too many carbs, way too many sugars, and it just spikes up your blood sugar. So I never really touched it for 15 years. I really don't ever have dessert. If you can ask my family, I'm always the one passing on dessert, and that's not just because I, I can't have it. It's Guys, I literally don't crave it. I, I don't remember the last time I have ever craved a sweet, whether it be cake, donuts, whatever, sour candies, ever. I don't I don't ever crave it, ever, in my life. And, you know, if I ever do crave something, it'll be like a burger or something. So, just normal food. I, I just don't ever crave sweets. And you know what? I can, I'm going to treat that as a blessing in my life. I, I want to thank diabetes for giving me that type of blessing where I don't crave to binge on candies and sweets. I know you guys might think I'm crazy. How could you look at something so negative? You know, type 1 diabetes, it's terrible, yet I'm looking at the positive side of that and I'm saying type 1 diabetes is a blessing for giving me that outlook. And you know what? That's how I look at things, guys. I take the positive out of every negative situation. So anyway, that's going to wrap up the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. Be sure to give this video a like. Comment down below with any thoughts and subscribe to my channel. As always, stay strong.